Hey guys! Hey! So today, Vinnie and I are going to be asking... Hey! <laughs> today, Vinnie and I are going to be asking Javen and Bella some questions because they could be headed to school soon. Yeah, the first question we're going to probably ask is from... Um, is it Ivy? Yeah, you guys um, posted some questions, so we're going to go ahead and ask yes. them. So, I see Ivy comment quite a bit. So <laughs> her question, which was... Have you asked the children? This is a response to the video we made about our life update and the mm -hmm. possibility of the children going to school. Yeah. Outside the home. Bruh. Um, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. It'd be a Christian private school in the area. Yeah. Private? So, have you asked them if they if they rather private. yeah go to school? Or not? Okay, mommy. She asks, have you asked them if they if they rather go to school or not? because they do sports, so they really are not isolated from people. You two are most incredible parents in raising your children. Their Aww. manners are respectful with good attitude. Good luck, you all. So guys, Miss Ivy wants to know, do you guys, would you guys rather stay home and get homeschool, or would you rather go to a private school? I think I'd rather go just more. Say, oh, Ellie. <laughs> Private. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Just let's say school. Okay. Yeah. Let's we'll okay. just say to school. Yeah. So, so would you rather go to school or stay home to be school. okay or or um, be <laughs> homeschooled? I think I'd rather go to school. Why? Um, I don't know. I think I need to get out more. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I kind um, of agree with that. <laughs> yeah, we have don't sports do that, to do, that. but still, gotcha. it's kind of like it would be nice to do more. Have more relationships, more connections, you things of that nature. Yeah. Hey. Jaden, what would you rather do? Of course, I'd rather go to school because I would like to make more friendships, Bruh. and I'd also like to be like more, more like interactive with people instead okay. of being like yeah. shy, shy. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 How about you, Ellie? Um, I just want to go to my class because I want to make friends. Oh. You want to make friends? <laughs> <laughs> We'll homeschool for a little bit, right? Just yeah. like we did with so the 10, older two. 11? I don't know. Whatever God allows, <clears throat> allows us to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, honey, where are you at with that? Oh, man. There's so much to consider. So I really want them to go. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it would be beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. I was homeschooled all the way through. And I just think they would have an opportunity to um, to interact more, to to have a broader social environment. I don't think my experience was terrible. No. And I think I turned out okay, considering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just feel like it'd be healthier for them. Yeah. And it seems like a fairly safe environment for it. Mm -hmm. I do have some concern with what a lot of the schools out there are teaching now yeah. and things that they're presenting to kids at a very young age. Mm -hmm. I'm well aware that my children will have to face reality, will have to exist in a world that's uh, very sinful. Yeah. I just don't want them being inundated with that sin at a very young age, young age yeah. as they're being educated. Teach them math, teach them science, teach them English, reading, spelling, all that stuff. Uh, but let's not worry about teaching them nonsense. Um, anyway. Um, one thing I wanted to make clear was that I think people might have misunderstood us. Um, Ellie, please stop for a second. So I started homeschooling the children right away mm -hmm. and I homeschool for about seven years. This is the first year Jory has taken over to do it because right. I had, you know, Eliana mm -hmm. and it was kind of tough to do both. I did it for a while. I hired a lady. She can come in and watch the uh, watch, watch her while I, yeah. I'll do that. But I just wanted to make sure you guys understood that it's something I've done for a very long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what I wanted to give a shout out to was Advocate. I don't know how to say that name. Advocate Pulang Machelo. May God order your steps. May he provide and meet all your needs according to his riches and glory. Oh. Thank you so much. That was mm -hmm. very encouraging. Yes, thank um, you. I appreciate it. We just kind of appreciate all the encouragement. Mm -hmm. Gloria Jackson said, hey guys, you are seriously prioritizing your family and life, which is extremely important. Praying mm -hmm. for you guys, love you and your family. Again, thank you so much. Yeah, we're, we're trying to take in every angle. It's not an easy decision. I hope you don't think that. No. It's definitely something. And in fact, it's something we've considered several years now, like yeah. probably three or four years. Mm -hmm. We get to the, you know, to the time where we have to decide. 
what we're going to do for curriculum and we're like do we want to homeschool should they go to school so they have a little broader social experience with other kids and other people you know sports and extracurriculars and and just getting used to being around a broader group uh, being away from home every year that's something we talk about and there's always this like we've really tried hard to make sure we've had them at home so that we could give them what we believe is the world view that's biblical yeah and so and it's like when is the time to to allow them to go out and then you know encounter other people and mm-hmm. have a little bit of other world views mm-hmm. and and so we feel like this might be kind of a, a middle step we've asked them as the years have passed have you do you guys want to go to okay, school okay boss thank you <laughs> usually it's like no we're not ready and stuff like that so we have considered them right guys would you say mm-hmm. we've asked you that well, yes about Farina. i'm not i'm not gonna butcher that last name i'm not gonna try <laughs> but then Sabrina. i can great congratulate you for trying to make your mental and physical health a priority and being dedicated by getting up early in the morning to go work out bravo you can't pour from an empty cup hallelujah <laughs> kudos true. to jory for supporting you you two are teaching your children so much right High now five. in both words and action all things are possible with the pro- proper support mm. keep it up you yeah. know if you know you know we're not gonna sit here to sugarcoat and tell you that if you are properly eliana please stop um doing homeschool it is exhausting mm. it is tiring yeah. it's not this rosy fantasy whatever world it's it's not it's not that okay so a you are a mother so as parents and especially mom we care so much about how our children are performing in school so there's that level of pressure already and then on top of that um you need to be their teacher as well so there's this gray line where it's like where does mommy stop or where does mommy start and teacher begin? So that is mentally exhausting as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so homeschooling is definitely hard work. Yeah. Extremely hard work. Mm-hmm. Again, if you are doing what you're supposed to do, um, <laughs> it's extremely difficult. And not to say that I can't like push that. through, but for as far as where I'm at right now, or where we're at right now, we definitely need a break. What we told the children was that if you go after a month or two mm-hmm. and if you just aren't feeling connected or something is off or you don't want to do it, yeah. I would gladly stay home. Um, not that I'm going anywhere, but I will gladly teach you. Because mm-hmm. uh, like I said, I've done it for seven years. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think about that? Like the agreement was if, you know, if we go and you guys don't like it, you are more than welcome to right. let us know. Yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think that's fair? Go ahead. Jim. Yes, I, of course I think it's fair. Seems okay. Like the best way to um, help us like ease into it. Yeah. Not just like saying okay, go in for a year and then when you're when the year's over, tell us how it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, I think it's fair, and I'm yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's it. There's nothing wrong with it to me. I, I'm glad that you're giving us a chance to try it. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I saw was like you can't. Sh- we saw was that you can't shelter them forever. They need to experience the world. We believe yes, we can't. <laughs> we can't hide them forever. They can't be in our you know just at home forever. But we do believe like in keeping a child's innocence as long as, as long possible. As possible. Yeah. And you and us, we might mm. disagree on what is age appropriate. Sure. Um, so that's the difference. We yeah. don't think our yeah. Yeah, we, we certainly don't push our ideas on you guys. On you like guys. we don't yeah. Just because we're doing it, we don't expect you to necessarily do it. Right. You gotta find what works for, for you, you and your kids. And your family. And yeah. so we're just sharing what we do. Mm -hmm. overall they were for the most part all positive comments and just like we would expect from our supporters like Mm -hmm. have you thought about this and have you thought about that which is great Mm -hmm. yeah so we really appreciate you guys and you know just making sure that the family's okay and everybody's Mm -hmm. okay it's it's been really nice to have you guys as our community part of our community Mm -hmm. um is there anything you guys are nervous about as far as school goes like (laughs) that you're not sure about what are you thinking about grades grades the biggest thing for me i'm right there with you man why great um the first thing is that like i get embarrassed 
Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, like, after I get home, I'm always, like, getting down on myself. Like, oh, why did you have to do that? Why did you mess up? And all that stuff. Like, Aww. I wish I wouldn't have messed up and all that stuff. So Don't feel bad. It's mostly the grades for me. It's not, like, the teachers or the mm -hmm. people I'm afraid of. So it's okay. interesting he's saying grades, but our kids are pretty... Um, they do pretty well they in do. school, yeah. like with grades. They we did have them take like a national exam to see mm -hmm. where they're at. That was like last year or two years ago. It's been I a couple of years. Yeah, I think it's two years ago. Two years ago, and they actually were well above average, mm -hmm. uh, like in a pretty high percentile. So yeah. I'm shocked that he wouldn't be concerned about his grades. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, How about you? I'm the same way with Jamin, nervous about grades, mm -hmm. and then. I feel like I know nothing about public or private schools. So yeah, I mean, you've yeah. never gone. Private so you're not gonna... school. <laughs> you Sorry. Again, Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, like I don't want to be that girl that just doesn't know anything. That's I don't like, know. I should like worry what? about that. Like, like, oh, how does she not know what room to go to? How does she not know what room this well, you're is? Well, gonna be brand new, so you're uh, not gonna know. Uh, they're, they're gonna be gracious to you. Yeah, and it's not just you though. It's other kids too that are homeschooled that are going to Bethany. No, no, no. Oh, even that are brand new. Uh, like um, lower grades, like their first time yeah. in a new school. Right, but they're little kids. Arabella. All your class is going to be going into a new class. A new class. True. So they're all going to be just as confused. I was confused in the ninth grade when I went to high school. Mm -hmm. like, how does this work? Where do I go? It took <laughs> oh. like a week or two, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's different. All right. Eliana, will you miss your siblings if they go? You are so goofy. <laughs> Young lady is, um, has a runny nose. She's battling a little, I think, cold. Allergy. Allergy. But I think it's like allergies. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so she's a bit off these days. Mm -hmm. yeah. you like well, you, do you think you guys will miss being at home? Honestly, no. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Uh, I'm not trying to call. Why are you apologizing? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's like we're missing No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So tell us, why aren't you going to miss being home? Honestly, this sounds really bad. As the oldest sister, I shouldn't say this, but honestly, sometimes uh, being around this one all the time, it's just, look! I can't imagine example. what you're going to say. Perfect example. I think, I, I don't know, it, it'll just be more enjoyable being at a, a you, school. Because you you feel like it's Ellie's too boring. much. Yeah. 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 And then Ellie too, yeah. Okay, go lay on the floor. Well, um, but she don't will mess, mess with anyone, so. okay? I think I'm, I'm going to miss it a little bit because we won't have as much time to just like, have fun, we'll be there like eight hours. Mm -hmm. So we won't have as much time to do things, but I also do want to get away from Ellie, just not to be rude, but just because she can be a handful at times. Yeah. 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 She is. Oh, I feel bad. She's going to miss us. <laughs> she is. I, I honestly think they're going to miss it. Really? Yes. I think they're going to miss the, the homestead here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't do that. Mom. What? Bella pulled my arm. Mm. Yeah, you are choking him. I took them to go get testing um, to see where they are scoring before they can enter this possible school we're looking at. But, um, so I had to drop them. And I left with Ellie, and like the whole time she was asking for her brother and sister. <laughs> so I know the transition will definitely be harder for her. Mm -hmm. Even though she is a handful at times, she does enjoy her siblings. Yeah, someone was on here that mentioned, do we realize what's being taught in, in school? We don't, in all fairness. We don't really know what's going on. Right. We're trying to learn this yeah. specific school, what all is being taught. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm aware of what's happening kind of broader yeah. in the nation yeah and that's i mean that's something that we've considered every year every that, year that does concern us mm -hmm. um there are just some topics that i don't think the school has any business teaching the children absolutely i think it's something the family needs to teach the children yeah uh, so but anyway yeah so that is like the biggest factor like we have not made a decision yet as of now um we are still talking about it mm -hmm. and you guys pray for us yeah we, for we sure. definitely need the prayers yeah but yeah um we just wanted to give you guys an update uh as far as what was going on and let the children speak for themselves mm -hmm. uh, and if there are any questions that we missed that you guys want to ask personally to the mm -hmm. children you know where to leave the comment yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us for this conversation keep, keep looking, looking up, up!